this video. It is a video about me getting my eyes lasered. And I did a poll on Instagram if you guys want to know about the journey. And most of you said yes. I know not everyone's having glasses. Not everyone has like problems with their eyes. But I do. I wanted to get my eyes lasered two years ago. I was in the process. Everything was going smooth. And then I found out I was pregnant. And I was like... No, I cannot do it. So now Romy is older and um, I found a super place, a super good place where a friend of mine went and their eyes are completely fine and perfect. I am scared though, but I really trust the doctors, so I think I'm gonna be fine and I'm just so excited to be with those glasses. So now it's two weeks before my laser eye treatment. Yeah. I just can't wait for these two weeks to be over because I have to wear glasses now and I've never worn glasses in my life. I wear sunglasses, but that's it. I have bad eyes since I'm 15, so I wear contact lenses for 16 years and no glasses, not once. I never ordered them, I never wanted them because I just don't like them. I don't like the feel on my face. I, I don't like when something is too close to me, like I get anxiety from it and these glasses give me anxiety. But I have to go through it to be without glasses and without contact lenses for the rest of my life. So wish me luck and give me patience. <laughs> I mean, I can take them off for everything that's close to me. It's perfectly fine. I can see it. But if you take it away like a meter, it's gone. So let's go. Let's take this countdown and let's see how I make it with glasses. And then let's start the journey of me getting my eyes lasered. So guys, just giving you a quick update. This is one week with glasses and... I'm okay with wearing glasses, but I prefer contact lenses and I cannot wait to get my eyes lasered actually. Um, just to wake up at night and see clearly, to just go on a plane and not get the content, contact lenses dry or lose one and then you don't have one. Like all these struggles, you know, that you have in your daily life because of not having the best side with your eyes. So I'm really excited. I'm a little bit scared though. I have to be honest with you guys because the thought about a laser going into your eyes is scary. But I would definitely tell you, if it's really that scary, if it hurts, I just take you along with me. So one more week to go with glasses and then I will do it. So guys, I am in the car now, we are driving. This is a day before my laser operation, it is tomorrow. But today they're gonna check my eyes again. I'm gonna get some drops in my eyes, which makes the black in the eye like go really big so they can really look into my eye and measure everything so everything's safe. Romy's coming with me, he's in the back, and my brother's coming with me because I cannot drive after the treatment. So let's just wish me luck that my eyes are still the same um, from when I first did this. Um, because now I was wearing glasses for two weeks, as you know, and so the pressure on the eyes is different, but they still gotta measure everything to make sure everything's perfect for tomorrow. So I'm excited. It's just one day to go. So they just checked my eyes and my eyes are mostly the same just like a tiny bit is different because of the pressure of the contact lenses my measurements were slightly different so it's good that we checked again and i'm happy that they did someone's having fun here hello so now we're gonna have a talk with the doctor talk about everything for tomorrow guys and i have to show you how beautiful this clinic is So guys, we are on the way to the clinic. Mario is coming with me and Romy is also coming with me. And in one hour, it's about time to get the eyes lasered. And I'm a little bit nervous, but actually, I just feel like I'm in very good hands. And friends of mine went there and everything's perfectly fine. So I think I will be good. Let's just see. I take you guys with me, you will see the whole process. And then, yeah, I'm a little bit frightened. I am. Sie reden jetzt auch nicht mehr viel, mhm. äh, sie auch nicht mehr, ja. ähm, sie müssen auch gar nichts fragen. Ich führe sie so dadurch, dass sie immer wissen, was als nächstes auf sie zukommt, dann macht man sich da keine Sorgen. Ja, ja? okay. Gut. Ich habe auch gearbeitet, dann einmal zum Laser. Mhm. Sie werden jetzt ganz gut bleiben, aber meinen Kopfkörper ganz gut halten. Ja. 
danach fühle ich eine stumpfe Blutfeder ein. Drückt es ein bisschen. Und dann klar es, es drückt und zieht. Aber man gewöhnt sich schnell an und es tut nicht weh. Dann habe ich Tröpfchen gegeben zur Betäubung. Danach wird das Auge mit einer kalten, klaren Flüssigkeit überspielen, damit der Tränenfilm schön klar ist. Die übermäßige Flüssigkeit wird dann wieder abgesaugt. Dann sehen Sie das exzellent. Sehr schön. Dann bekommen Sie wieder bei Betäubungströpfchen, bei den Karinentröpfchen. Mit dem Sprechen können wir die danach noch während der Kirchen Dann fahren wir nach vorne zum sogenannten Patientinterface, damit das sich gleich angucken werden. Mhm. Und genau da reingehen, genau so machen. Ich jetzt nicht mehr hinbrauchen, ich sehe alles, was ich tue, über mein Hygienekoskop. Wenn ich nichts sage, mache ich es automatisch nicht. Sollten Sie das falsch machen, weiß ich es nicht. Haben Sie super gemacht. Dann werde ich das Auge jetzt ein wenig hin und her bewegen. Wunderbar. Perfekt. Von Anfang bis Ende. Dann gebe ich mir jetzt hier ein bisschen praktisieren. Jute Punkt, ich spiele das Auge damit. Zum Schluss gibt es noch ein Tropfen Blut. Seitdem wir das machen, haben wir eine Infektion. So, super. Okay. Zeug. Das erste Auge ist komplett fertig. Mhm. Hat irgendetwas wehgetan? Ja. Sehr schön. Man muss aber auch sagen, Sie sind wirklich Traumpatient. So, wenn jeder so gut wäre wie Sie, wird mir ganz viel Nerven sparen im Berufsleben. <lacht> super. Ideal. Der grüne Punkt wird jetzt wieder verschwinden. Genauso bleiben bitte. Gleich werden wir wieder deutlich schlechter sehen. Das normal und richtig so. Ganz viel Luftmäßig in der Anhaut. Genauso bleiben. Gut, auch hier ging alles bestens. Wie auch beim anderen Auge sind jetzt ganz viele Luftmäßen. Die mit hier quer bewegen. Gut, wunderbar, super, hat alles perfekt funktioniert. Sie können sich gerne schon aufmachen. Sie werden jetzt wieder Milchglas in der Nähe ja. sehen. Das ist normal und richtig so. Mhm. Morgen früh ist das schon besser. Mhm. Und Sie werden merken, dass Sie nicht nur in zwei, drei Tagen jetzt einen großen Sprung machen, mhm. sondern selbst zwischen Woche 1 und Woche 12. Das okay. sind dann Kleinigkeiten, wann es sich für Farbsehen, Tastsehen, mhm. Lachen und so. Aber wird das Möbel gesehen noch schlimmer heute? Oder bleibt Nö, das bleibt. Ah, ja. Das wird also ab jetzt tendenziell konstant. Ja. Okay. Ja. Und schaffst du schon hoch oder bis zum Kreislauf noch ein bisschen? Nee, alles gut. So, guys, I'm done. I just had my eyes lasered. Um, I can see kind of sharp, sharper than before. But like everything is like a little bit milky but this will go away over the next hours or when i wake up tomorrow in the morning so today i just have to use a lot of drops put cream into my eyes before i go to bed and that's basically it maybe they're gonna start burning that's what i've heard when the drops won't affect the eye anymore but then i can put drops in there again so let's see 
but for now I'm really happy and the procedure was like so easy so easy it just I think it was 10 or 10 or 15 minutes Mario how long were we in the clinic 15 minutes you go into the room your lasers done it's like so calm and it's crazy guys actually it is crazy but I'm so happy now I just hope that my eyes recover real quick and that tomorrow everything will be fine again Good morning, um, it is 8 in the morning, the day after my operation and you will not believe it. I can see totally clear. I can see like if I wear glasses, like with my glasses I couldn't see like 100%. Um, a little bit less good than with my contact lenses, but I can see everything. Like I woke up this morning, looked out the window and I was like, what is this? This is crazy. Like I got my eyes lasered yesterday in the evening at 6.30 p.m. And now it's 8 in the morning. It's like 10 hours later, mice are totally fine. Like they don't hurt, I don't see milky, I don't see anything not so sharp. Like they literally, literally don't not hurt, which is so crazy to me. If you saw what he did to my eye, like I must feel some kind of pain. Um, In the right eye, it feels like a little bit, I have like a lash or like something in my eye, which is totally fine because this is just the where he opened my eye, which is like a tiny, tiny scar, but it's gonna fade the next days. But I'm so fine, like I don't, I didn't took one pain medication, nothing, even though they asked me if I want to, but I usually don't do it because usually you can totally stand the pain. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I just have to use the drops now, which is, two different drops which i have to take five times a day and then i have to do before i go to bed i use like two different creams which i have to put into my eye 10 minutes apart and that's it i can also use makeup again i can go swimming i can go into the sauna which all of this stuff i'm not gonna do like i'm not gonna put makeup on like mascara and then rub it off in the evening i can but i just I'm not gonna do it because I'm just like, I don't need to put makeup on now. I'm confident enough to go out like this. I just don't care. And I just don't want anything to happen. Even though he said nothing can happen, but anyway, I'm not gonna do it. Um, also not gonna go swimming. We're gonna go on a vacation next week, but I'm not gonna go swimming here. Maybe next week, but I'm also not a swimmer. So I don't really care about swimming. <laughs> Guys, it's just so crazy to me. I cannot believe it. I was watching the videos yesterday night, like before I fell to sleep with Mario because I could totally also see there. And we were just like, what did he do? Like with the little thing into my eye and rubbing. And I was like, what if I had known this like detail before? Because I didn't want it to know every detail. I'm more this kind of person, just do it. You're the professional, I'm gonna be fine. Um, because if I know every single detail, it's just, I go crazy in my head. If there's something to do, I want to do it on my own. I don't like to give people the, like the power. I always like, I was like this as a kid too. When I was in kindergarten and the, uh, the women there wanted to tie my shoes. I was like, no, no, I, I want to do it because I don't like the way they tied my shoes. And also group work is not a lot for me. <laughs> I always wanted to do everything and be like the manager of everything. You do this and no, you have to do it like this way. Anyway, it's nothing to do with the topic, but I'm so happy my eyes are fine. Like all the frightened stuff, I don't have to worry about it anymore. And just more one side note, if you get, if you think why she bruised here and here and here, it's because I got lip fillers done two days ago and Botox. It's not from the laser operation, just as a side note. You don't get any blue spots from the laser operation. So I just had the checkup one day after my laser operation and as I told you this morning, I feel so good. My eyes don't hurt. I don't feel like anything ever happened to my eyes and um, they just did a test and my um, seeing is by 100% already. And it's not even 24 hours after the operation so I can highly recommend the clinic that I went to. I'm gonna put the link down there where you can find them because the doctor, he's a professional. like. He is a professional with eyes. So don't go to clinics that just do it for like on the side, go to a professional because it's, these are your eyes guys. Like that's very important. So if you're around um, Düsseldorf or if you live in Germany, just make the effort and go there, get your checkup, just go there and have like a look for yourself. But they are truly amazing and I felt very good and supported and I'm just so happy I did it. And this is also gonna be the end of my little video. 
um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope this was interesting to you and I hope you learned a little bit so see you Thank you.